Hello and welcome everybody. So this is the final uh, product, the final render done in Karma XPU. And uh, in general, this this uh, video just a walk through about the setup, the nodes we used, and uh, some of fix code that we did in the render to come up with this effect. The project file you can find it on my Patreon page already added in the description box uh, wish to see you over there and let's go to the setup scene so this is this is the setup scene i added uh, for each node or each vex uh, the code and small description of its function in general i'm starting with a circle that i'm carving it to have a point that is rotating using uh, motion effects in a cycle motion and I'm copying a uh, geometry on it this will be the source for the smoke so this is the viral just uh, emitting some density and velocity so in the in the virus solver um, one of the things is I animated the source scale for the velocity and the divergence depending on the density also I animated the source of the density over time so it won't start with this mushroom effect and this is the result so as you can see I want from this uh, output just the volumes, the velocity, which I use as uh, Bob Advict by volume. So using the same circle, add an end node, resampling it, removing the polygon, and adding some mixed codes like uh, to change the color so it's uh, it will change over time according to the parameter here which can be animated then i'm taking it to a couple of coordinates all of these so i have different effects and in the bob net mainly you have the bot effect by volume some run by velocity some by force so we have different effect after that I run the Bob result so it will delete uh, any points that's velocity below a speed threshold this is the length of the velocity after that I added another pop, uh, another point triangle to move the points to the nearest uh, points on the surface here especially the edge before and after slight change and after that this one uh, we normalize the edge so we are removing point below uh, with a certain edge and then here uh, um, we are adding uh, noise and color you can see in their y-axis with some uh, noise amplitude and frequency then applying a color uh, template RAM choosing this color and then we're making it uh, to, 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 to point downward so we are squashing it from uh, positive y and it will be free to go in the negative y then I'm caching it and all these nodes are doing the same with slight changes and this one a little bit different and here <coughs> what I'm doing is I'm taking the source points I'm running through a wrangle and in this wrangle 
we are adding noise and deleting uh, slow points then uh, I'm giving a chance of like 95 percent to delete points and keep the remaining and after that I'm normalizing uh, the position and add it as a uh, normal and copying points to it so we have this shape which I time shift I choose one of the frames you see it's moving so I selected one frame and I'm uh, transferring the attributes from this open it so it will align with the lines and like a, a blend effect this one so I have a different layer and I'm catching this one also so these are the main layers then I make it all here not all of them some of them and added an attribute triangle which uh, created a mask this is the mask mask should be load at mask it's not reading and then we blade with the saturation adjusting the value and here I'm adding a little bit of uh, target light extra layer of light then I'm splitting it according to the color selected and in here I'm adding uh, lines according to the ID of the points resampling them and adding a little bit of noise as you can see you can modify and play with the frequency giving them a color by the curve view and then I'm moving them as you can see with some curve curve like it's like a gravity so this is the result like an electrical uh, impulse then I'm taking the remaining of the points So this is the mask here. So I'm giving more color to the uh, generated points at the beginning around the ring. So here, where did I stop? Yeah. Here I want to change the shape. So I'm using the layer, and then I'm. Giving them uh, some points to be removed, the static points, and adding meter ball with some bulging effect, which I moved and translate. So I have this shape, which then I cached. Afterward, I deleted any geometry added a wrangle to keep this point this little tiny number so I can <coughs> inject it to the next wrangle to the zero input and first input and this is the same so these are the one inside the ring if you go here and this is the one outside this is the inside so I want some lines to be connected between these but because we have a huge number so I deleted the points and make it less and using this code I'm generating bully line between the two inputs then I'm giving a resample with the curve view fusing any overlapping points cleaning the uh, single points and with this wrangle I'm creating this effect with some noise and uh, the angling effect like a gravity 
and I'm caching it all out. And afterward, here um, I'm playing with a B scale for each of the points. So over age, it will decrease. So it will uh, decrease over time the B scale. B scale. Okay, after that, I send each uh, line or stream to its own uh, render output. And uh, using uh, principal oh. shader and karma, I'm rendering this one out. So we can find the file in my Patreon. I kept it open for free and I'm encouraging you to participate and join me. And you'll find too many nice examples which that you will learn. I hope you enjoyed my, my uh, quick walkthrough and see you soon. So I'm working on my next one regarding the new solver MBM and its interaction with rigid body. So see you later. Thank you.